Hey guys, it's Maya. Um, so a lot of you have asked me to do a walkthrough of my common room, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, bear in mind, my common room is still a work in progress, and there's a lot of shit in there. So without further ado, here we go. All right. So as you can see, it is jam packed. Um, the the rug. It's the only rug that we have in the house, and the dogs are not allowed in here. So first things first, my pride and joy. This is my Black Family tapestry. I got it at a celebration of Harry Potter. It is also signed. I'll zoom in a little bit on it. So you can see, signed by the graphic artists uh, that did all the print and the books and the candy and stuff like that for the films. And then there is also a certificate of authentication. Authenticity, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> my Nimbus 2001 that my darling husband got for me. Um, random bits and bobs for doing my wizardry. There's scabbers. Right there, as you can see, he's just kind of hanging out. Um, I don't let him out too often because I don't want him going back to the Dark Lord. We're trying to keep uh, keep an eye on him for that. Just random. Not all of this stuff is Harry Potter. Um, most of it is, but a lot of it is just stuff that I've gotten on my travels. Um, things that I found just interesting and thought that it would fit the theme. Um, the Phoenix here, um, my daughter did that, I think 10th grade it was, um, for an art exhibition that she did for art school or for art class and she won third place with it. I thought she deserved first, but you know, that's me. Um, Fantastic Beast, uh, keys, I love keys, bottles, books, and boxes. Um, as you can tell from all the shit that I've got, um, there's Bellatrix's knife. Um, one of my masterpieces, uh, or centerpieces of my collection. Um, chain mail bracelet, I got that at a Ren Fair. I just thought that was kind of cool. A uh, Celtic knot spoon. Um, so tradition here, for those who don't know, um, Celtic tradition states that, uh, you get a spoon on your wedding day. So my dad actually made that for me. He does all kinds of, um, he does blacksmithing and, and used to do woodworking. Um, the rose back here, he also did that, a uh, little bit of wood, wood burning. Um, my other collection here are rocks, uh, geodes and crystals in particular. I absolutely adore them. Um, more random shit. So moving over here, we've got a palmistry hand. There are symbols and such on that hand, you can't really see it. But they're there, um, my umbrage plates. And this is supposed to be a haunted book. When there are batteries in it, it lights up and the uh, the little quill there moves on its own. So I probably should put batteries in there. Um, now again, like I said, this is a work in progress. Right now, I have a futon here instead of a nice period piece of um, antique furniture, but we'll get there. Um, the Diadem of Ravenclaw, I got that at a celebration of Harry Potter. I um, That was my second big purchase other than the Black Family Tapestry. Um, and I usually have it in a place of prominence, but it's really high, so I decided to bring it down and show you guys. Um, over here, let me just move this pillow. The Marauder's Map, it does actually unfold. You can see everything. Um, I'm not going to unfold it right now because it is a pain in the ass to get back in. Um, so this is a set of mini movie posters with film cells, two film cells per movie. Um, one of these days I'm actually going to get it hung and I'm going to put little LED lights behind the, uh, the cells so that we can see what those cells are of. Um, the lighted potion lamp that was a Christmas gift from my best friend. And then my butterbeer butter mug from a celebration. And Tom Riddle's diary. I don't know why he left it here, but I'm sure 
uh, Jenny doesn't mind. So my gloves, this was um, as part of the, the package for a celebration of Harry Potter, they gave us an exclusive gift and um, it was this year it was the um, Hogwarts ticket. So I'm definitely going to keep track of my ticket. And then there's a little, um, the coin down there has uh, the Hogwarts Express on it. So then we move up here to Professor Flitwick um, and his signature, more keys, a spell book, a uh, custom made spell book. Um, these are kind of like the Umbridge plates. Um, they're, they're plastic, but um, instead of all the kittens, we have the four Hogwarts houses in them. Um, I will eventually get those put up, but not right now. So then just more random stuff. That's my wedding set, my cake topper, my champagne glasses, and my cake set uh, from my wedding. Um, random knives and an antique teapot and uh, potions. Um, more potions. I have a thing with stationery sets, so I've got some the, the ink stamp or the, the wax stamp that I got from... Uh, this last loot crate. There's another stamp somewhere around here, but I don't know exactly where it is. Um, I've got two bottles of ink. One there on the on the right with the feathers sticking out of it, and uh, the one there on the left, right there, black ink. Um, and then this is just a little ink well, an empty ink well that I thought was pretty, that I got at Universal as well. Tiny bottles, tiny potion bottles. Um, this right here, I had planned on actually recreating the bell jar, um, but I, again, I haven't gotten around to it. Um, so, oh, the walking sticks back there. My dad made those. Um, like I said, he does all kinds of stuff uh, with that. Um, my Slytherin scarf. Gilderoy Lockhart's Chocolate Frog card. That was the exclusive A Celebration of Harry Potter um, Chocolate Frog card. Um, I should have gotten two of those so that I could have kept one unwrapped and had the other to show off the card, but I didn't. Um, back here, right here, is a tiny bottle of Felix Felicis that my daughter got for me. Then I've got the Deluminator, and I've actually, I am the owner of two Time Turners. Uh, this one here, and then that one right there. And then you see my Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean box, more random stuff. Um, yeah. So um, my, my tiny, tiny little wand collection, that bottom wand, I actually use that wand um, when I'm in the mood to pretend that I am casting spells. Um, the middle wand there is uh, Snape's wand, and then the top one is a custom made wand. It is Rowan Wood, four and a quarter inches, unicorn hair. Um, and that is my official hex wand as well. So then we come over here and we've got some jelly slugs and a Pez dispenser with Voldemort, Hagrid, Dumbledore, um, Harry Potter, Hermione, and if you could just see in the back, there's Ron, always left in the corner. Um, then up here we've got the sorting hat and then that lump next to it was my daughter's third grade costume. She went as a wizard. A Harry Potter wizard um, and that was part of her costume. So then over here we've got all of my pop. I have all of the Harry Potter pop and then I've got my signed cards from Neville and Draco and Lucius um, and then down here that is my Fantastic Beast pop and I have all of those as well. Um, oh, let me show you this right here. If you didn't see it, that is Bella's Azkaban prison number. Um, and that goes with, this is one of my costumes for next year's A Celebration of Harry Potter. 
So I plan on putting that into, not the dress, the, the thingy here. Um, I'm going to put a frame on that, put a chain on it, and wrap it around my neck. Or hang it around my neck. Um, so last but not least, uh, I've got my Hogwarts acceptance letter. Um, again, the, the glare. I do have a light coming um, eventually so that we don't have all this horrible glare going on. Um, and then I'll get curtains too, so that'll help. But yeah, this was um, Mother's Day gift year before last, I believe, from Sputnik. Um, it was my Hogwarts letter and then another tiny ticket uh, to get onto platform nine and three quarters for the Hogwarts Express. And I had that framed and matted uh, so that I could keep it safe and on display forever. All right, guys. Well, that is my common room. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later.